Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky, and today we're looking at an application called Encrypto. This is a really good application for encrypting files and folders, and it's available on Mac and also for Windows. It's a shame it's not available on iOS or Android, but still, it's a good start. And it's really easy to use. So here we have the application open in front of us, and we've also got a uh, Finder window next to us, so we can uh, do the uh, drag and drop. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this expensive one here, and I'm going to drag that and drop it into there. So that's one way of getting files into it. So the first thing you have to do is to put a password in there. I'm just going to put in a quick and easy password there. I suggest you use a good password. If you're going to use a password, which is a good password, I suggest you use one password. Uh, because it's a great way to create the passwords for you and to store them. So the hint is going to be look in one password. And then when you've got your password in there and the hint for the password, the uh, person who's going to receive this is going to uh, see this uh, look in one password. Or you could put a hint in there, for instance. Um, OK, so you could uh, give a clue. Um, the place where you got drunk that time. Um, obviously, uh, something that your uh, recipient is going to know about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to encrypt this. So let's click on Encrypt. Get okay, a nice little animation. We get a little uh, notification at the end of it to say that it's done. And the only thing we have to do now is to click on Save As. Let's click Save As. Let's put it into uh, my uh, best place for saving stuff like this. Encrypted Documents, that'll do. So I'm going to put it into Encrypted Documents and I'll click on Save. So let's just move that back over there. So in the encrypted documents, you can see that the file I've just encrypted is there. So that's kind of cool. Let's go back to recents again, and we'll do a start over. Now, another way of getting files and folders into this is if we click on this button here, and we go and have a look where we want a file that we want to encrypt. Let's just move that over so we can see a bit better. And let's go into uh, recents, and uh, it could be a picture, for instance. So this is a picture that I did earlier. And it's uh, 16 kilobytes, not a very big picture. And you get a nice little um, preview of what it is that you're doing there. And we can even click on that and it uh, gives us a preview. So you can see what's uh, happening there. So let's put the password in. The name of the bar where we got drunk that time. And that we did it in one password. And, or wherever we put it or wherever the hint is going to be. And I'm going to click on encrypt again. So there we go. Nice little animation. And it tells us that it's done. Now this time what we could do is instead of doing save as, we can go for share file. So we can share file directly into messages. That's a good place to do it. And we can put in our recipient. So let's say I'm going to send it to someone called Victoria. And uh, that uh, we'll send that off there. It's shared a file via Encrypto. The file is included and there's even a little message in there to say how to decrypt it. And we can put the hint in there if we wanted to. OK, so I can click that off and send it away and it will be received by the recipient. I'm going to cancel that for a moment because I don't really want to send that at the moment. OK, so uh, what I can do now is I can uh, write a message here. OK, so what I can do is if I want to send this off, I can uh, drag this out of here and put it into attachments. And that will also get sent off to my recipient. So that's all good. So that's another way of uh, getting the uh, file that's been encrypted out to your uh, person that uh, you want to send it to. So let's say I'm going to send it to... Um, I want to just send it to myself, just so we're going to have it uh, sent out. Put that in there, because I know it's a test. And put that there, because it's a test. And uh, that will be encrypted, because I use uh, Thunderbird, because I can send things out using PGP. But if you haven't got encryption in with your email, doesn't matter because it's already encrypted in Encrypto. So let's click on Send. So encrypt everything. Uh, so encrypt the attachment separately and send the message using inline PGP. So uh, that'll do. Uh, email has been encrypted. Send message. So there's the uh, message that has been sent. Let's bring this all into the uh, window here. And if I want to have a look at this here, I need to click on Decrypt. OK, so um, that's the thing that I sent. Um, there should be an attachment. There's the attachment look. I click on Save the attachment. And uh, as you see, it's coming encrypted. So let's uh, just put uh, test in there because I want to uh, flag that as being a test document. 
I'm going to save it into downloads, that'll do. For the moment, save that. Now for me to be able to see that, I'm going to have to decrypt it from PGP. So I've actually got double encryption going on here because I've got it encrypted as a PGP file. I've also got it encrypted in crypto. So let's just uh, start over on this here. We've downloaded it. It's uh, been decrypted from the PGP or not as, uh, as, as happens, depending upon your system there. And I've got the file here, expenses.crypto. So I'm going to drag that and I'm going to drop it in there. And I've got to put the uh, password in there. And uh, the hint is the place that we've got a drone out of time. So uh, click on decrypt. It's been decrypted. And now I can save that there. In fact, I can see there's the, it worked already. So I can uh, show you that's the expenses.csv file that I uh, encrypted. And I can do a save as to put it to where I want to put it. So let's just uh, put it into the encrypted, encrypted documents folder for the moment, just to show you how, how it works. So let's click on save. File decrypted and saved. There we go. And so there you go. That's the uh, round trip done. I took it out of here. This is the expenses file that I started with, expenses.csv. I went into uh, encrypted, uh, I went uh, to encrypted documents, I saved it into there and I put it into a um, email. I sent it off or I sent it off as a message and the person at the other end, they were able to get this file here and everything was uh, just fine. I've got my uh, file and everything was uh, good as I sent it through the uh, internet and it is all safe and good. My digital identity can't be worked out by the sniffers that go looking for these sort of things on the internet and uh, try and uh, find your passwords, find your uh, secret questions to get into your email and steal your identity and do nasty things to you. So this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky showing you how I use Encrypto to send encrypted documents through the internet.